What's going on, High Society? Welcome back, Socialites, to another 5S Draft League Battle video. This week, week 6, we got Denver Ninetales taking on the Worcester Deli Birds. Denver currently undefeated, 5-0. Worcester, 2-3. So, key game for Worcester here. Tough game, got to take down the undefeated Denver Ninetales. One of the best teams in the society this season. Uh, definitely was the best team coming out of the draft. Let's see what they're bringing today. Denver bringing G-Max, Venusaur, Doug Trio, Torkoal, Heliolus, Quillfish, and Darmanitan. And Worcester bringing G-Max, Norlax, Rillaboom, Pelipper, Arcanine, Gigalith, and for the first time this season, Weezing. So... Double weather setters for Worcester to combat against Denver Sun. So let's see if they'll be able to keep that out of play. Uh, keep Venusaur slow. Keep Heliolisk and Darmantan power down. Interesting choice with uh, Weezing bringing it this week. Um, pretty good. Walls a lot of uh, Denver's physical side. Um, Doug Trio can't really touch it because of Levitate. Um, Quillfish can't touch it. Darmanitan doesn't really have anything for it. Um, Venusaur, of course, doesn't have anything. It resists its stabs. Um, so, very good choice, I think, for Worcester to bring Weezing. Let's see if they can toy around with it. Okay, here's the lead. So, Rillaboom leads off against Quillfish, so... Good lead for Juan and Worcester here. Although Denver does get the Intimidate off. Let's see, Denver probably going to be switching out here. Going out into Torkoal it seems, so let's see what Juan does. U turn could be safe. Um, Wood Hammer wouldn't do too much. Let's see, Sun's out. Okay, Grassy Glide. Yeah, Torkoal is able to eat that up. Very physically defensive, plus resisting it. So, Denver here, if they win, they, uh, go for an undefeated matchup against your boy, the Boston Braviaries. See uh, how that match will play out next week. Can't wait for that. Alright, Gigalith comes out, going to overwrite the sun here. Torko Lob Plume keeps that right up, so good play on Worcester's part. Doesn't get the burn. So guys, a little bit of channel news. Make sure you catch our upcoming podcast. Thank you, Society, for the 100 subs. We're going to have an awesome giveaway announcement on the upcoming podcast. So check that out. Make sure you enter into that. It will be a lot of fun. So we see here some more positioning in the early game. Quillfish coming out, get off another Intimidate. What will Gigalith do? Gigalith goes for the Stealth Rock, so nice play. I'm just waiting to see like which of these teams can like break through, right? So is Worcester gonna switch out again? Maybe back into Rillaboom. Hmm. Or do they have 
earthquake on Quillfish. Okay, Quillfish gets up a layer of spikes. Rock Blast. Wow. Oh, nice crit. Even with the Intimidate, this Rock Blast is doing quite a bit of damage to the Quillfish. Adding on with the Sandstorm, so... Quillfish, Thunder Waves. So, Quillfish is trying to take on this Gigalith here, it looks like. Another Rock Blast comes out. If it can get like a few more hits, that'd be good. Oof. Quillfish just keeps getting pelted by the pebbles. Dang. Quillfish gonna stay in on here. Quillfish goes for the liquidation. Nice damage on Gigalith. Out of third. Rock Blast. Oof. Oof. Will it stop there? No. Keeps going. Quillfish goes down. So, Gigalith able to win that exchange against Quillfish. Surprisingly, even with the Intimidate, he will take down Quillfish. Stemmer going out into Genosaur. Could be a Giga Drain, or they could go Earth Power. Trying to predict a switch into like an Arcanine. Weezing the very safe switch here. On Worcester's side, let's see what they do. Really oh wow, he stays in. He's really thinking, and Gigalith goes down. I'm interested on uh, stop behind that. Probably just figured to sack him now. You know, he's paralyzed. He's almost down to half health, but he already got rocks up. But I mean, Gigalith could still do a lot against these fire types. Alright, here comes the Arcanine. Sun is not up currently because Giga came out, overrode it, plus it's been like forever since Torkoal was in. Torkoal comes back out. Speak of the devil. He shall appear. Setting up the sun. Does Arcanine go for a Flare Blitz? Does he go for an extreme speed? Let's see. Flare Blitz. Boosted in the sun. Not bad damage against Torkoal. Arcanine gets a little bit of recoil here. Let's see now. Oh, what's for going for? The rabbit spin will Arcanine switch out here. Oh, extreme speed does nothing. Rapid spin gets off. Able to remove those rocks, which will really help the rest of the team. Denver, it looks like they're switching right back into Venusaur. What? Will and I go for another extreme speed? Risky play. Yep, another extreme speed. How much will this do? Good damage. Good damage, but now Venusaur in the sun. Worcester could really punish them with a switch into Pelipper here.
or gets off the Quake, so no switch out for Worcester. This Quake is gonna knock out Arcanine. So now... I mean, Pelipper can still be a good play. Um, her firing off Hurricanes in the rain would do a lot of damage to this Venusaur. Especially depending if the Pelipper is like spec. Ooh, a little G Max on G Max action. Sometimes the best answer to a G Max is your own G Max. Worcester. G Max Snorlax in the house. Get him big. Such a fun design. Oof, and he just eats up this Vine Lash hit. Flare comes off, but the Aka Berry, the Venusaur, is gonna allow it to eat that up. Oof, still good damage. Oh, and a crit, of course. <laughs> of course. If you didn't watch the uh, match earlier between PSG and Reno Weezings, um, we know all about crits from that one. Ooh, Denver stalling out the VMAX Norlax. Like, you want to use your GMAX to take down mine? You're going to use all of it. down to about half. Replenish. This will knock out G-Max Venusaur. Venusaur down. So still really close game. 4-4. Four to four. Uh, Snorlax at a little less than half. Porkle really low. Looks like it's the choice against Snorlax. Snorlax will be getting small again. He'll be shrinking down. You had it set to micro, you wanted Wumbo. Alright. Oh man, can Flare Blitz, strongest attack. I wonder if you turn off the word of lot. I mean, oof. Alright, so, Snorlax down. Worcester still not in a bad position. Still got Pelipper against the Fire types and Doug Trio. Um, Weezing still has a very good matchup against these Pokemon. Alright, here comes Pelipper. Man can locked into Flare Blitz with the Choice Band. So. Denver's gonna have to switch him out. Wanna get to a skin. It looks like they're gonna be going with Torkoal. Looking to sack off Torkoal, and the nice thing is you'll overwrite this sun again. So get rid of the rain, get the sun back up. Quite a weather war here. I think if a Worcester had kept Gigalith around, I mean, just for the body, like, Torkoal goes down with the skull. This is going to allow Heliolus to come right in.
clicking the volt switch, so I wonder if this is Sash. Nope, it's not Sash. It was probably Spexton. So Pelipper goes down. Heelisk goes back to Denver. A man can will come out. This should invite in Weezing here, so. And I mean, Weezing can do quite a bit against what's still remaining here. Um, Heelisk is the best thing to combat the Weezing, because it is pretty physically defensive. So that, uh, that super effective Earthquake very misleading. A man can go to the U-turn. Nice damage despite a not very effective move there. Hmm. This will bring out his what did Weezing go for? Going for a poison type attack is going for something like a blood bomb, okay. Not bad damage, plus the solar power, so I think another sludge bomb should be able to take out Heoless here. You could even bring in a Rillaboom and maybe do like a U-turn play here. Let's see. Oh, Thunderbolt comes out from the Heoless. Oof! Big damage on Weezing takes it out. Life Orb and solar power. Making clean work of that wheezing. Which leaves Worcester with just Rillaboom. Alright, what's Rillaboom got? Question is this a salt vest? Is it a choice band? Glide. That'll take out Heliolus there. Alright, Worcester. Rillaboom going up against Denver. Darmantan and Dugtrio. Dugtrio we see there has the Focus Sash, so it'll be able to absorb a hit even if Darmantan goes down. Let's see, Darmantan going for the Flare Blitz. Let's see if uh, Worcester goes for Grassy Glide, then we know it's Choice Band. But I don't think that Rillaboom can outspeed Darmantan here. Let's see. Nope. Rillaboom not faster than Darmantan, and the Fire Gorilla takes down the Grass Gorilla, and Denver stays undefeated 6 and 0 time for that match Denver let's go the sinister 6 is ready we're not afraid of nobody guys comment down below what you thought of that match who do you predict will win next week's premier matchup the 6 and 0 Boston Bravey here is going up against Denver Ninetales and as always stay classy society